Hi, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to go through everything drugstore that is in my collection um, and at least two options for each type of products out there that work for my skin tone, my type of personality because I'm pretty um, anyways, I will be putting on one type of products, one type of products, not really, um, one side of my face with certain brands and the other side of my face with certain brands. Can you tell right now? No, I know. So if you want to see what drugstore options might work best for you, keep on watching. So let's start with the foundations. From drugstore perspective, I have two options. One is this Wet n Wild in the shade Caramel, which matches me perfectly. The second option that I have is this L'Oreal Infallible um, in the shade Golden Sun. And this has an SPF of 25, which is pretty good if you consider, you know, if you want to skip a step about putting on sunscreen. And this is actually in a bottle like that. It's a pump, which I really like because you can directly apply it. Both of Ugh, didn't drop it. Caught it, caught it. Okay, let's try this again. Um, after my fiascos of foundation. <laughs> These are the two foundation recommendations that I have, If especially if you're looking for um, drugstore easily available in each country type of options um l'oreal definitely it's everywhere wet n wild i don't know if it is available in every country but i do know it is easily available both of these and not too expensive so i have prepped my skin with the neutrogena hydro boost um, moisturizer for face which works great for my skin tone and my skin I have oily skin and I'm getting drier patches now but it's a gel water base dries down in a second I love it um, so let's start with the foundation I'm gonna go with L'Oreal on one side Wet n Wild on one side and it's just the way it looks right so squirt it side is the wet n wild in the shade caramel um, and this has that doe foot applicator um, little does go a long way for me so I just both of these foundations are almost like a matte version because like I said I do have oily skin and I like to keep my, keep my skin matte all day if possible and not add a bunch of <laughs> other oils that come in from foundation or other products. Um, please try to ignore my eyebrows. They have not been threaded um, this entire year and I'm planning to not thread or pluck them until the end of this year. That is my way of protesting against 2020 okay all right so foundation is on let me know what you think this is the l'oreal side this is the wet n wild side both to me are perfect matches for my skin tone um i am mac nc42 in case you want a reference um and i'll link a bunch of other foundations that i use um, but these two work really great concealers i have two of these again um and both are stick concealers but both are drugstore one is revlon insta fix and i love this it's a stick i can put it anywhere i want a little bit of dab dab goes a long way the neutrogena one is very special because it does um talk about you know it's from that same 
hydro boost um, line that they have that's the moisturizer that I love and I feel like I'm getting very close to loving everything um, Neutrogena hydro boost I have a lip balm that I put on and I just love that that is the one product that I have emptied out it's somewhere I need a backfill of that but the Neutrogena hydro boost ones are also um, that line is my favorite so this is also a stick and here goes the Neutrogena side. Taking it to the side of the eye. Mm. Dab, 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 dab. Not too much, not too little, just right. The other side, Revlon side. So this is the Neutrogena side. And as I put this on, you can see how the Neutrogena one is working versus how the Revlon one will look. The stick on this one is definitely way bigger than the Neutrogena one. I have to say that. Cost-wise, you know, it'll be different in different country at different times of the years, sometimes different stores. Um, like... Um, CVS Pharmacy keeps having these sales every week, so sometimes you might find it at a different price. Include it with your coupons, get a better deal out of it, or, you know, it's sale time everywhere. Pretty sure you can get good deals everywhere. But because these are drugstore brands, they're not very expensive anyway. Um, so my concealer is on. Let me know. But again, Neutrogena side, Revlon side. Next up, blush. Blush is something which is a huge challenge for my skin tone because most, most common ones don't show up on my skin. But there are a few that work and I have two options of blushes. Um, one is the CoverGirl Insta Cheek and the other is e.l.f. Um, and it comes in four colors unless you break one and you scratch through the other. There's three colors still left in this so I think I'm good. Um, so again, I'll put one on each side. Um, let me also talk about the um, Real Techniques brushes. I love these brushes. And this is like the travel version. I have two of these. Um, and then I have larger versions of both of these. So this is a foundation brush and this is like a powder brush. Trying to go similar tones on both. But the e.l.f., they don't have much shimmer on these. I don't know if you can tell, um, but much pigmented, I want to say. Um, this one is, but it shows up on my finger, not much on my cheeks. So I am going to go with the warm toned one. Um, it does have some color in it, but the real test for a blush for me is when it goes on my cheek and when I blend it to see whether it shows up or not. So I think this one is showing up, but not too much. Um, please ignore my hair. I'm having real issues with my hair going on these days. It... But back to blushes. Um, so this e.l.f. palette is again not too expensive. It is really, really, really good because it does give you huge pants. Um, oh, by the way, I do have the little thing that has broken from it. And this is like that warm, toasty color that might be perfect for when you don't want to look very pinky or peachy. Um, so that can also work as like your bronzer. Okay, moving to this one. I was hoping to use a different brush for it, but I'll just stick with the Real Techniques one. And um, the options here, if you can see, they all have some little bit of shine in the middle one. Um to see, you know, so one side will be a little bit of shimmery, shiny blush and the other side is not. And this really has some shine. I don't know if you can tell, um, but this does have shine and this is very matte. So there we go. We have two options. One thing about shimmery blushes is it does show some texture on your skin. Um, in my case, I do have pores, but if you look at it um, up close, this side, you don't see as much texture, but the glittery, shimmery side, you do see my pores shining through it. And I had one more product, which I 
totally forgot to talk about and um okay great right here the primer so this is the elf primer putty um which this is my second um jar of it and <laughs> haven't opened it yet but if you put your hand in it it does feel so creamy and so soft and this is you just put it on your skin before you apply any foundation and it doesn't show up much let me go for a little more it doesn't show up much but what it does do is it does give a good gripping effect to your primer or primer to your foundation um and that is another trick to make your foundation last all day long especially you people out there in bombay other parts of the world where the humidity is really high foundation does wear out with your sweat so try putting in some primer a really grippy primer and your foundation st should stick much better highlight highlight is a rare find um most of them do show up on my skin tone um but i prefer a shimmery blush and just take care of one additional step uh, but in case needed here is a drugstore option that works really well it worked so well that sometimes i just put this on my eyes as well and skip the whole shadow thing um so i'm gonna use this one i have not found a good highlight yes i haven't found a good highlight from a drugstore um, i have other highlights which again is a different day so going in here with the same blush brush and i'm going to go on the side well let me just keep the side non shimmery side and then put some highlighter on here would you be able to tell oh heck you would be able to tell that i have highlight on here um you see this is a great highlight there we go highlights on i took it a little bit under my brow bone as well but just to show it is so beautiful first of all and just to show how shimmery it is um, i'm gonna put some on here and here you have it eyeshadow it's my favorite but there's a lot of drugstore eyeshadows that don't work they are either chalky too powdery have too much fallout but there are a few that I have tried and they work very well. Two options, e.l.f. e.l.f. has come up with these little itty bitty ones and they're so tiny, so easy to travel, have good color payout. The other option, Wet n Wild. Wet n Wild has these quads, um, so they give you, put this away, um, so they give you, you know, some larger pans, um, more options and two larger pants and two options so base um, they even write out which one goes where so this is a good option and did I say I have two options yep two wet and wilds two ounces <laughs> if I can chuckle <laughs> oh okay now got it <laughs> Um, so I got some color options, some nude options, and even this one, they're mostly smoky options. Um, but again, I'll do one on each side. I can't choose which one to use. The colors on this are so fall specific, so earthy, so natural um, colored schemed that I really commend whoever came up with this color scheme. And these are perfect for a new palette. So I don't know which one to do normally. When I'm confused like this, I just go one on one eye and the other. But today I have to use Wet n Wild on the other. So which one? Huh. Huh. Okay, I'm going with this one, but I will swatch this one. So stay for some swatches also. Swatching the darkest one first. Um, right here. See how dark it is? And it's very, very good textured. Does not have a ton of fallout. Oh, this one, I didn't really dig through the tan, pan much. You see, it does show different um, colors. And then the next two, so the first two were mattes. 
The third one here is a little bit of a shimmer. And you see how this is like, oh my gosh, it is so good. And then last but not the least, going with my pinky on this one, just look at it. Okay, get out of the way, bracelet. There. The golden color is amazing payoff. You can just use either this green or that golden and be on your way to, um, how did I forget? Before the shadows go on, here's a primer. Again, Milani is the one that works great for my eyes. I'm pretty sure for everybody's eyes, it would work great. The other option that I generally end up using is the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. Now that does have some color that shows up on my skin tone, but it is really a very grippy primer as well. And it, you know how I put on my eye primer with both fingers. Yes, I totally screwed that up and I put it on both the eyes, but then I cleaned up on one eye. Okay, next up is the Wet n Wild, which is kind of their nude, um, smoky kind of palette. But the other one um, is pretty dark shaded, which I really like the gray in that shows up really well. Um, so let me do this on this eye and be right back. Here's the finished look. Who can even tell? I have, um, which one did I use here? I can't even tell. Elf on this one. And I have the Wet n Wild on this eye. Um, uh, eyeliners is what I like to go with next. And the two options I have are Elf. So let me switch this so that this goes with the Elf palette. And the Revlon. Now, there are two different types. Um, the Elf that I love is because of this tip. Look how precise you can get with the application. It works really, really well and stays all day. Um, the Revlon one is the lipstick. <laughs> lipstick. <laughs> Everything for me is the lipstick. <laughs> um, so this is the liquid eyeliner. Again, the brush on this is, that's the reason I love the eyeliner. Now this is not waterproof, so it will wear off, but it's perfect for when you just have to go out for a little bit. Um, put the eyeliner quickly, come back, wipe it off or wash it and it's gone. But when you need a little bit more, then you have to go with the waterproof version. Um, there's a third one I want to point out. Um, you see how chubby my stick is, but this is what I like to go for, um, for the waterline, um, because this does not irritate the eye. Um, the liquid one, of course, will get into your eye, but this one is perfect for me does not irritate my eyes and so i love to put this one in my waterline all right let me put those on and i'll be right back all right eyeliner is on um you see i went very thin with the elf eyeliner and you see how precise that line could be if you are careful and with the um liquid eyeliner again your line can be perfect if you don't have a shaky hand like i do most of the times all right mascara mascara there are so many options i don't think i prefer any um non-drugstore mascaras there are so many options out there but the two that i really like are um this l'oreal voluminous um original mascara and then also this one um is uh, this is from maybelline and this is the colossal but of course i just realized i picked the blue one and I have actually reviewed this one in one of my other videos so make sure to check that out the, the L'Oreal one though um, the brush on it is it's different than the um, Maybelline one but it is very precise if you look at it so let's go with that
My eyes are done. Oh, I have a new beauty spot. Yeah, that's a mascara. I touched on my face, but I'm gonna let it dry and then just flick it away. That's the best technique to get mascara away. If you mess with it right now, it'll be all over my face and I can't have that. All right, next up, lipstick. Okay, um, so I do have a lot of lipsticks, of course, but I tried to choose three different colors um, and the two of these are Milani's and this is Maybelline. Um, but <laughs> there, are, there is different varieties in this so that people who prefer different colors can go with those options. So let me um, start with the lightest option, go to the darkest and see what works well. Um, I think I know what I'm going to end up with, but let's just do this for my friends who prefer nude shades um, more than any darker shades. So starting with this Milani lipstick, um, which is very creamy. This is the Milani Teddy Bear um, lipstick, which I have on right now. It shows up just the way it looks. Um, it is very, very creamy, very nourishing, very hydrating, um, and it doesn't last all day. Yes, it does not. Um, it will wear off if you eat or drink something. So make sure you line it with a lip liner and make it last all day if you want, or just reapply it. And uh, reapply with a different shade so you look like you have different looks going on each part of the day. All right, next up, um, I do want to try this red one. Um, this is the Maybelline 630 Red Revolution. Just look at it. Oh. Oh, oh, this is a true red color lipstick in a drugstore option. So if you are bold enough, hey, go for it. Um, I'm just going to go on top of this. Um, one thing, because I went on top of the teddy bear lipstick, um, this has now achieved a different shade altogether. This red is a real red, if you were to believe me. Um, but because I put it on a brown or a nude shade, it now looks more mauve -y. And sometimes that might just be the look you want to go with. Why not mix two lipsticks? Do it. It looks good. But let's be fair. Um, I said I will show you the red red option. So here we go. See the difference? It's a good thing. You can mix lipsticks, come up with a whole new shade that you might like. Um, so this is the Maybelline Red Revolution if you want to go with a little bolder look. But please balance um, your face out right because I think mine is now very, very obvious that this is a shimmery side with highlighter and the shimmery blush. And this is my matte side. This shade is called as Matte Drama. And I... <laughs> That's all me. Um, this is a Milani lipstick again, and it is almost like that wampy color. Um, really matte and really dark. Told ya. <laughs> um, I love this lipstick. Um, you know what? These two lipsticks were given to me by my husband. Um, yep, they're my presents for birthday um but i think this might be what my finished look would be um with the three different lipstick options um two at least two options of every single type of product everything dark store including my brushes and my sponges um let me know what you think and catch you later